When it comes to getting the right pair of hiking boots, there are a ton of different styles to choose from depending on what type of hiker you are. However, there are some main factors to consider when shopping, including support, material, outsole, and boot fit. It's important that your feet get plenty of support when hiking through rough terrain or else it can lead to foot injuries. This mostly comes from the midsole and cuff that wraps around the ankle. The midsole of the boot provides cushioning, buffers your feet from impacts, and largely determines your boot's stiffness. A stiff boot won't allow your foot to wear out by wrapping around every rock or tree you step on. The most common midsole materials are EVA or ethanol vinyl acetate and polyurethane. EVA midsoles offer great cushioning, lighter in weight, and are less expensive compared to other materials. It also provides firmer support where it's most needed. On the other hand, polyurethane midsoles are generally firmer and more durable. These can be found mostly in mountaineering style boots. Generally, boots with stiffer midsoles protect your feet from rocks and roots that you may encounter on the trail. As part of the midsole, there is also the footbed or insole. These provide an extra layer of cushion and are interchangeable in case you want to swap it out for an aftermarket orthotic. The cup of a hiking boot is what protects your ankles from injuries and other debris on the trail. The higher the boot cut, the more protection you'll have from trail hazards. Hiking boots come in low cut, mid cut, and high rise. Low cut boots are often called hiking shoes and have grown in popularity over the years. Low cut shoes tend to be more lightweight and minimalistic than mid cut boots, making them more popular for shorter hikes along well maintained trails. Mid cut style boots provide more ankle support and are the most common. They also offer better protection on the trail and can help prevent twisted ankles. The only downfall is that there isn't as much flexibility compared to low cut boots. If you like to hike on a rough and aggressive terrain, there are also high rise boots. These boots offer plenty of protection against harsh weather and provide more support on your ankles, making them a popular choice for backpackers planning on carrying heavy loads over difficult trails. When it comes to materials, it's good to make sure the boot has a durable construction along with good weatherproofing so your feet stay comfortable and well protected in any terrain or weather. Most boots are made from a durable leather construction. This offers excellent durability, abrasion resistance, and good water protection. These also last longer over time. There are also hiking boots made of synthetic nylon material. These are lighter than leather, break in more quickly, dry faster, and usually cost less. The only downside is that they may wear down sooner due to more stitching on the outside of the boot. Some boots are also made of waterproof membranes such as Gore-Tex. These liners help keep your feet dry in wet conditions while still remaining breathable for all day comfort. And also when the weather gets cold, there are boots that have insulation to keep your feet warm. Technologies such as Thinsulate and Primalot provide the warmth needed to enjoy the outdoors in cold and snow. Most hiking footwear is actually designed to help keep you cool, so by adding insulation you'll be able to enjoy the trails all season long. Moving on to traction or the outsole of a hiking boot. This is what makes the difference between your basic shoe and a hiking footwear. The aggressive lugged outsole of a hiking footwear allows it to find grip on a variety of surfaces that other shoes would just simply slide right off. Most hiking boots use added lug patterns to give you grip on variable terrain like loose gravel or dirt. Deeper, thicker lugs are used on backpacking and mountaineering boots to improve grip while widely spaced lugs offer good traction and shed mud more easily. Not only does the rubber outsole provide added grip on the trail, but it can also help with shock absorption for added comfort on those descents. <music> Lastly, let's talk boot fit. You want to look for a boot that still leaves room for your toes to wiggle so they don't get squished at the front of the boot when you're heading downhill, but also still keep your heels securely supported. To find your proper size, you can always check out the size chart found on our website. Hope this video was helpful in finding your next pair of hiking boots. Thanks for watching and be sure to shop our hiking boots online at peterglenn.com.